up, Sauce Gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats are with a banger and hilarious reaction for you because Sock Studios has dropped a brand new video called Throwing Our First House Party. That's right. So you know we're in for some laughs. We're in for some stuff that's gonna blow your mind. But before we do, please show Sock Studios some love by subscribing to the channel and sharing. We're trying to get some quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. But enough talking. Let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Oh, happy Labor Day, everybody. Today, we're going to tell a three-part story on how we broke into a convention, got into a party, and then even hosted our own house party. <laughs> this was the joint forces of the Rooftop Boys and some weird kid named Sox. <laughs> the Rooftop Boys? It started at VidCon. Which one? It's like a convention where creators meet their fans. And we went. Me, Blaza, and Nadway. The three of us. We didn't even know we were going. That's the thing. This was kind of like last minute because we're not actually like featured creators like people don't know we were going we just kind of wanted to see how it was because this was our first featured creator in all of our hearts but we weren't going in all of our hearts we were just going to see how it was see how everything operates everything behind the scenes we honestly thought if we did like a meet and greet we would be meted by like two people but the opposite happened before we're there us three we're on a flight we're going all the way to california since it was last minute i'm I going going back back to, to cali this cali was a pass that allowed Allowed us to walk anywhere. So you left now Ooh. out of everything? We were babysitting him. This pass allowed you. There was the convention building and then there was a hotel. So there was a hotel for creators because the thing is they had to split all the fans from going into the hotel. There was no fans allowed to go in this hotel. No fans allowed in the hotel. Only hotel. It was locked down. If you don't have a pass or a wristband and like scanning, you're not even allowed five feet within of it. We're not talking about like Six feet, just a couple distancing. security guards. We're talking about one at every single door and then literally just groups of them just walking around they had the whole place <laughs> locked down on the outside inside everywhere even ubers weren't allowed to get in really imagine this military fortress no of a hotel and then you have the convention itself which you also need a pass and the same deals there they had literally security guards everywhere you basically had to go through tsa get a ticket and there was like a security guard every couple meters was like the president here or something why are there so many What's the no, no, no. meter? Even better. You mean Blaza feet? Blocks was there. Okay. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. Lay down the red carpet. You can imagine we have the hotel and we have the convention. And we're just flying in and we have our stuff. We're just here in California. Oh my God, California. We're so cool. Oh, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. It was time to go Beedee. into the hotel. And the thing is, in order to get our first pass, we have to go into the hotel. The creators had to get their pass at the hotel. That way they ah, weren't like swarmed okay. at the convention. We got there. They were already questioning us we ubered in right we're talking about like security guards all around us okay as the uber was like coming in and stuff and the like uber, we're like, gonna get in trouble chat like we belong here <laughs> this is my hood right here I, we're I being sneaky spot. we're inviting guests because uh, me and blaza have the pass but not yet physically but like we are about to they don't know about nadway we go in and we're literally escorted from the outside of the hotel escorted yeah we, we have to be escorted where they give out the passes so we don't just go freely walk around the hotel they have to they make sure they escorted us all the way to the ticket place and All we had way. to like say who we were and what kind of tickets so the thing is i had the tickets for blaza and then i got a ticket and i was like oh look at i but then i tried uh, the first strategy gaslighting this is like among us gaslighting first nice i like this i like this. i was like uh we have a pass for blaza we have a pass for socks there should be a name uh nadway somewhere on the on the list over there You're right about there you like write it down yourself like oh yeah it's right there we don't have him on the list sir like i don't know you gotta keep looking you gotta keep looking you know it, it, it's your problem you guys are Karen's at this place. No, no, no. We were shut down by Karen, okay? The person we were <laughs> talking to tried to gaslight, down. but there was a Karen right next to her. And they, the Karens just have these senses for, like, shenanigans. It's like a radar. It goes off. We said specifically in the email that you weren't supposed to bring any plus ones. I was like, how 
dare you? Obviously, I did not say that, but it was in my head. Yes. They knew that Nadway wasn't on the list. We're like, oh, our bad, you know. We realized we didn't sign him up. It was our fault. We're like, okay, okay, we'll get our pass somewhere else. The thing is, Nadway does have a pass, but he doesn't have the almighty pass that allows uh, him to go anywhere. I have the pass for the convention, not the hotel. The hotel's only for creators. Wow, you know, wow, anyone wow. can get the pass that I had. Yeah, you gotta be level 99, bro. Was, obviously different. His pass was blue, while Blaza and I's were yellow. So yellow was like the higher up and then blue was like right under but the blue wouldn't allow you to go into the hotel it wouldn't even allow you to go behind the scenes in the convention it wouldn't allow you to talk yeah, to, the to do a whole it lot of nothing like the best pass garbage that you could get publicly. Dookie. that wasn't good enough it wasn't enough because the thing was we had a hotel and we were staying in a room to do and we Dookie. needed that way to stay Couldn't in the room take a dump in, in the hotel. hotel we didn't want him to be in some other hotel ew so how do we get Nadway into the hotel? This is operation one. This is the test. We got in a circle, the three of us. I don't have the IQ like the rooftop boys, Blaza and Nadway. I felt like a third party. <laughs> I just party got Mission the Impossible the soundtrack in my head, chat. In, right? They formulated a strategy. First, me and Nadway went around the whole palace to see where the security guards are. I had to get a blueprint out of the hotel inspecting it. There's a door over here. Go over I'm here. writing down like where all the security guards is and we like pulled on all the doors with no security guards, but they were all Locked. That's insane. You guys are like James Bond. So we checked that all out and then we came in a circle and started thinking of a plan. <laughs> We're like, okay, there's plan. no entrance where there isn't a security guard. We have to sneak through the security guards. We have to figure out a way. I was thinking maybe there's a fire exit, like a fire staircase. We can just pull you up and then we open it from the other side because we can hey. go inside. No fire stairs were available. Then I was thinking, like, what if we got, like, a helicopter or something? I mean, drop that way off on the roof. Bang right here. I mean, yeah, that's, like, the second thing Banger, I would think bro. of whenever trying to sneak into a hotel. Apparently, very hard to get by a helicopter in California for some reason. The fourth option was a plane, but we knew we couldn't allow Nadway anywhere near it. There was something different. We all had a little lanyard over our neck. We had a yellow pass, me and Blaza, that said invited guests. And then Nadway had a blue lanyard over his. What was so special about this convention was that not only do you get a lanyard, you get something around your wrist. A wristband! This allows you to get either into the hotel or into the So you keep the, the lanyard, in give him the wristband. In, you have to scan yourself in. You have to take your little wristband and just tap it. If you go in or if you go out. You have to scan your little wristband. So the thing is, the only ones that work in the hotel are the yellow wristbands. So if, if Nadway took his like little wristbands and tried to go oh, oh, try to be all confident and stuff, he would go ah, every security guard in 20 miles would tackle him. So what do we do? The You're strike. Done, son. It's formulated. First step Get out of here. to the channel. The three of us. Okay, we walk forward. My zero IQ plus the two rooftop boys, at least above 10 IQ. It's like an average IQ in total. We start walking towards the entrance of the hotel. That's how confident we are with this strategy. We're walking to the front where the max security is of the hotel. The thing is, the strategy was so good that I didn't even know what it was. So let me tell you how it felt from my perspective. It shocked me. I didn't me to even my know, core. bro. I'm in front. Then there's uh then there's Nadway and then there's Blasa in that order. This order is very important. This is critical. And there's literally security Crucial. guards everywhere. So as we're walking forward, they see that I'm in the front, so they see the yellow pass and they see Blaza with the yellow pass. So Nadway's behind me. So he kind of blends in. I'm in the middle. The first security guard, he was like, oh, yes, yellow badge opens the door for us. Step one is complete. And Nadway has been just confidence. You know, as long as you pretend you're part of the group, he's blended in. This is just layer one of the security. That's opening the That's door. That's just layer one? One? So that's just the yeah, entrance. Uno mas por favor. The mission. Layer two. The laser defense system. There is a security guard. I don't know okay? how you're He's waiting this one, for bro. us as we walk to the other side of the door. You need to scan your wristband. What do we do? Oh no. If I do it, uh, uh, bright red. He would explode. Like exactly in the Mr. Beast video, he would blow up. Executed. At this moment, I had no idea what the plan was. I didn't know that maybe Nadway would just like sneak by. All these guys told me at this moment is that we have a plan. You just need to distract the guard a little bit. I go in, I'm walking in, I see the security guard. He's like, oh, Scammering wristband. You guys told me to distract the security guard the best I can. So I gave him my friendly smile, you know. <laughs> you know, and I was like, hey, how are you doing? As Look at my guy. My wristband. <laughs> so I'm going to the laser defense system. I'm trying to start a conversation with him, but he's kind of locked in. He's hard. Like he's he's locked in in this moment. I'm scanning my wristband. He's a gangster. We're good. As I am doing that, I'm slowly going past the laser defense system. The security guard is still looking at me at this moment. This is part of the key. He's so handsome. Oh my goodness. 
Can't take your eyes off of you. Now, this is the secret sauce. Forget about the Krabby Patty formula, okay? Burn it. Now we know Nadway's in the middle. Blaza's right behind. I'm oh, right in between Socks and Blaza. So I'm up next. Me and Blaza. Genius. That, I don't know how no one has ever thought about this. So I go up and I bring up my hand. But the thing is, Blaza also does it at the exact same time as me. So it seems like we're both scanning. Yeah, so it accepts my wristband. And then the security guard is like, hey, one at a time. And we're like, oh, sorry, Mr. Security Guard. Mine didn't scan. And now he's like, oh, yeah, mine already scanned. <laughs> oh, mine scanned. And I go out ahead because it was green because he scanned his already. So I act like it was mine. So I went up ahead. And Blaz like, oh, okay, let me scan again because I he scanned his. So I scanned a second time. Boom, green again. And the security guard is like, all right, you're free to go. And here we go. And I was losing it. I didn't know what happened because as I was walking forward, right? No I way that worked, him. brother. I thought he was going to get poof, the but when I look back, I saw Nadway was with me, but Blaza was behind. And he just scanned it again, and he was good. What? How did this happen? So Nadway snuck in, Blaza was in. We were in the hotel successfully. And now, in this hotel, access. unlimited access to the hotel. Literally, we literally did have unlimited access to the hotel. It's like a dream come true, guys. It's, it's like a dream. We did it. Dude, there were so many people there, dude. All, a bunch of creators, dude. I saw people from Smosh. I saw Flamingo. I saw everyone. I saw I did a thing. In this hotel, it was this crazy big hotel, and the only people in there were like creators. It didn't matter which way you looked. YouTuber, YouTuber, TikToker. Ew. Instagrammer. Oh, so Ew. many creators. <laughs> just Ew. everywhere. And who did Ew. you guys talk Ew. to? We talked to people at Smash. That was pretty cool. I saw Rambu. I spoke to Rambu. Cash and Nico. We spoke to them. We met Rambu! the entire family friendly gang. We met Cookie God, a Sand Diction. Every every Minecraft YouTuber that you think exists exists. Did you met Steve? Steve himself was there. We have successfully broken to the Steve! hotel. We're good. But this is just part one of the story. The thing is about the hotel, we had to do that every time in and out. Every time I needed to go every time I need to go out. We had to do that oh, tactic for four days. The convention hasn't started yet, so you can't go anywhere. There's really nothing to do. I mean, sure, you can walk around and stuff, but like, I mean, come on. Ain't no way it's gonna work every day, we gotta it's every day, bro. It's every day, bro, with that Disney Channel flow. We didn't even know if there was a party going on yet. We just knew if there was gonna be one, we had to get in. As we were talking Must. to these YouTubers, you know, we were, you know, the usual, hey, how are you? Oh, I love your content, blah, blah, blah. No one cares about that. What we cared about we slipped in this little saying. We said, so, uh, what are you doing tonight? Throwing a party or something? Throwing out some keywords here and there. Party. Sometimes we just got nothing. They're like, oh, no, I just got here. I'm tired. Boo, boo. Shut up. Get up. <laughs> wham, wham, wham. Shut up. I want to talk to you. Sip but it. finally, someone Sip named your liver. him and his whole kind of Minecraft group. This is redemption. Redemption. He didn't invite us to the last party, but this is redemption. I'm working my magic. I'm talking to this guy. I'm talking to this, this whole kind of Minecraft group. It wasn't just like Cash. There was like other people around and stuff. And I was like, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing? And like what's going on like um give me something he said hey we heard a guy has a house down here in california shout out to, to vmt he's got a place in california and he's throwing a party and he was like here's the address here's the time be there oh, so the thing be is there. we be weren't square. directly Check. invited by Don't the main be guy square. we were like we were basically who invited. doesn't want the rooftop guys at their party we're basically getting rooftop ready for boys. The we get our uber it's time to start heading towards the party and you know honestly we're kind of nervous this is not just just any party. This is a content creator party. There are uh, some party. big names gonna be there. There's gonna be like people, not normal people. We're talking about YouTubers. Not losers. <laughs> They're important people, you know. Like we're talking about famous people. Those people are different. You know, we're, we're sitting in the car. We're getting ready to, you know, go to this party. I don't know what we're talking about. What are we talking about in this Uber? Uh, Wingstop. We were pulling up. We didn't have any sort of strategy. And the thing was, we knew when we arrived, when the house was on the like the corner, but there were like people all outside the house. There were people like Rambo. on the balcony they were like talking and stuff it was nerve-wracking i was holding nadway's hand on the left side all while we were climbed on top of blaza <laughs> come on blaza piggyback riders the thing is the outside looks crazy okay there's like a lamborghini urus like parked on the outside it has this crazy california house style there's a giant subscribe button on the front lawn make sure you hit that there's a bunch of people <laughs> i don't even know who to make eye contact we already got with, you so we already got you guys come on nobody. now we were like dragging our way up to the front door you know and we're like hey they opened the door 
and he was like, hey, who are you? Uh, uh blocks, hello? And they were like, you know these guys, right? Like, you know VMT or like, you know the gang and stuff or whatever. I don't even know exactly what he said, but we were just shaking our head, like up and down, like, yes. And it worked. We were in, okay? It actually works. Imagine the house, all on the bottom floor. You have Super <laughs> Smash Bros <laughs> happening on the left. The kitchen <laughs> on the right with a bunch of apple juice, red cups, okay? We just kicked in, okay? All of us, lots of that way. Hey, hey, what's hey, going on? Hey, Yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Right. We're like introducing ourselves. We're talking to people. It was all the gaming YouTubers. There was this guy walking around with a mask. I thought he was a rapper or something. What was nice is that we didn't come too early where there was like no one. And we also didn't come too late. It was like the perfect time. We were fashionably late. No, honestly, I think parties like best time to arrive is like literally like an hour after they start. That's until they turned the music up. And I mean up, I mean up. Everyone started to create a circle. Wait, did someone bust it down in the middle? All of a sudden, a couple of guys started busting it down in the middle. Bust down, Tati had him bust down. And then big guy, and he just dragged him out of the circle. He's like, get out. And he just slowly walked into the circle while the beat was about to drop. This aura was sparking through the room. Dude, this guy has so much aura. Did Cash and Nico are busting it down, bro? And the thing is, like, people rotated going in the circle. Each person took a time, and they were busting down a different move there was literally a girl that came in and started doing splits and like a backflip i missed that was i in the bathroom when it happened and then the guy <laughs> that ended up break dancing you guys got a guy break dancing are you serious look at him go i look at now we're at the end we're like what is going on but the party's popping you know you're a little hungry right who's open this late it's like 11 who's open at like 11 p.m right except for Taco one Bell. special Taco tiny Bell. little place Ooh. Wink, stop oh. I go up How to late is Wink? I'm what? Like, Do you How like late is Wink stop open? Me and him like the exact same stuff. We like the same flavors. We like a bonin. We like the fries the same. We like the drink the same. All night, we're talking about Wink stop. And then he comes up to me and is like, yo, do you want to order Wink stop? <laughs> Yes. He has me his phone. I ordered 70 wings for delivery to go oh to this house. Oh my God. At like 11 p.m. Oh delivery. my God. I'm just so excited. I'm just waiting. I'm like, yippee. I'm just waiting. And so he's sitting in the corner just watching the DoorDash notifications. All of a sudden, the music stops. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone is like, hey, what the flip, man? What's going on? Guys, everyone has to go outside. The cops have been called. And everyone looks at each other for a second and they're like freaking out. They're like, the cops are coming. Everyone is like rushing out. Outside. Everyone wants to get out of there. Everyone's on the street. Everyone's calling an Uber. The guy in the Lamborghini just spun off. Jeez, I wonder where he went. <laughs> and all of a sudden, a car pulled off. And we're like, oh my God, that must be the police. Don't worry, gang. Ever. I'll talk to them. We walk up to him, and the guy gets out of the car. Dornash. And it says, uh, Dornash for that way. <laughs> no way. The Wing Stop game. It was awesome. Everyone's freaking out over here. Oh, the Wing Stop. But the story's not over. We're eating the best Wing Stops of our life right now and we're looking at each other the party only started it only began we need to host our own party where where could you guys host a party but you don't even have a house over there we, no we thought about it we're like how can we get a party man? We, don't have, we don't know any connections we don't have a place to host it what are we gonna do we're going home we're going back we're done for the night it was time to formulate another strategy we still have a couple days before the end of the convention and it was time we had to sneak that way back in we had to go with the same strategy so i went first and then we we thought we were gonna be good. Yeah, the security guard must be tired by now, right? He was just standing there all day. It was like, what, 1 a.m. maybe? They must be exhausted. I was tired from, you know, partying. You know, I was just like, oh, I'm pretty tired. I wasn't locked in. Sash so goes first, scan, green. And he goes forward. We didn't even talk about it because we thought it was just like, it was muscle memory. We knew it. So we go at the same time. But me gonna work. being tired and stupid, I placed my hand in front of his. So it scans mine instead of his. What time did it make again? I don't know, I kind of forgot now. What time did it make? <laughs> The guard was like was half asleep, but when they heard it, they opened up they opened up their eyes like, huh? You scanned that again. And I was like, okay, I scanned it again. He's like, no, not you. You. My chest, my chest was popping out of my heart. Whatever the saying is. I shakily raised my head up to it. I'm like, ah! I was like, oh, fart. Me and Blaza just look at each other and Sock's like, go. Uh, are we going to get arrested or what's going on? I knew it, I told you. No, you're just not allowed to get in. Get out. I only had limited contact with Sox. I'm, I, you know what I told Sox? Trust me. And we left. Dude, that's a, that was, that's a billion aura right there. I walk outside with Blaza, all right? Sox goes to his room. You know, he's like kicking his feet, texting, I don't know, playing balloons. So me and Blaza, we thought, we have the blueprint, says place. There's another entrance in the back. And there's also another guard. That guard won't be there again, surely, right? The guy 
that was out the front that denied me won't be at the back. I would hope so. <laughs> we go towards the back and we see this guard. He's like halfway asleep. If once he sees us, he, he just gets ready. He just opens the door and gets ready. Me and Blaza. No, I, I'm locked in this time. Scan green. Right? Blaza does it. We accidentally scan at the same time. Oh, I go on inside. Yeah, and Blaza scans again. Boom, well, I'm in. I'm in again. Within five minutes. We went to talk to him, lock on his door. Uh, My mouth on the ground. Jaw dropped. Dude, not way. You guys are like secret spies. So we all gathered around and we got we were deciding how do we host our own party Gangsta. and make it better than the other Gangsta ones. Did we have another party sometime in the future? Like, oh, I wish I was at the party Nadway Blaza and Sox hosted. The next day. It was day one of the actual convention. Our first plan of strategy was we need to get a connection of someone who has a place here in California because we didn't have a place. We started making our way through the convention. We wanted to meet Making some my people. way Maybe downtown. Some local based in California. Dude, they, what we didn't also they, realize they the time of their life at this VidCon. also get recognized a lot. We're also creators. We were at the convention where like, creators no way, made we got fans, the same pass, bro. We forgot that we were also creators. So we kind of just walked in like normal. I kid you not, literally every every 10 seconds or so. And we're not just talking about me get recognized. We had people recognize Nadway by the back of his head just from a hiking video. I signed more things that day than I've ever signed in my entire life combined. Yeah, I wrote Aww. my name more. It took hours just to walk anywhere in the convention. It was really cool. I mean, honestly, meeting a lot of you people, really I don't even know if anyone's watching this video. We met you. It was crazy. And the amount of people that roasted Nadway was unbelievable. You guys got beef with me? I realized that all our fans are super funny. How many Skibbity Riz Ohio guests do we have? At least 3%. Oh, the Skibbity Riz Ohio guests. Yeah. We needed to get another contact. So we needed to get in some another creator like meet and greet. And we were invited to one. We all had like a schedule, right? And when I pulled out my schedule, turns out we were invited to the Roblox party. What makes this official? What, what, did Roblox himself host this or something? Roblox himself hosted it. Oh, you're serious. We had nothing Roblox else to do that himself. evening, right? And we we're like, ah, it was cool. It was free food, free drinks, free apple juice. It was gonna be a good time. We all got picked up by a car. Oh, they took the us apple to juice your heart can really handle. Cool restaurant. The restaurant was cool. Oh, like I want some apple juice. Ooh, apple, I mean, it's, had like a really it is cool breakfast time, chat. It had like a bar it's on the breakfast side. Breakfast time right now. It sounds Gucci. They could get free embroidered Roblox jackets that Nadway has. There was free food. It was honestly cool. There were, they even had like a live stream going on while the party was going on. And oh, we wow. started meeting a lot of people. It wasn't just Roblox people. It turns out a lot of people were just showing up. So it was just like Donald a normal Trump. kind of meeting greet. Donald and that's Trump. where we met him. The guy. Mr. Roblox himself. Whoa! We were vibing. We were having a good time. He was a super nice guy. I asked him, you know, just casually, and I'm like, do you have a place down here in California? You know what? I sure do, pal. I got a place here, an Airbnb here in California. And I was like, what? His eyes lit up like stars. I, I, you know, you I just looked through the conversation. The I was like, yeah, you, you got any plans? You know, maybe uh, throw a party, perhaps? And he would be like, sure thing, pal. He showed me the pictures of the Airbnb. It was perfect. It had a pool. It had arcade games, mini golf. It was set. We had a location. I told him a set time and we told him, we'll just bring a couple friends. We'll keep it low key. Like five people. Now we just need the victims to join our party. We were still at the Roblox party so maybe it was time to start spreading the word. We thought we were about to head out from the Roblox party but then the craziest thing happened before we could even leave. I was having a jolly good time drinking my little apple Jolly juice. good time, chat. And then Cash taps my shoulder and he's like, oh, Blaza, can you go to the bar and get me a little apple juice for myself? You know what? I was gonna get a new apple juice anyways. I got you, my brother. So I walk up to the bar and I said, one apple juice and a one glass of Coke, please. The bartender was like, sure thing. And I walked back with proud with my chest out to cash. Because so I was like, I got you, my brother. I gave him the cup of Coke. He said, oh my God, Arigato, Blaza, that's so nice. And we were like talking and talking and all of a sudden, some Karen just came up to us and she was like, hey, you are subscribed to the channel and you have a 21 plus wristband, but he doesn't have a 21 plus wristband. So you're not allowed to give him a Coke. And I'm like, does that really matter? And she said, yes, it does. And she walked away. Why it was so crazy? It was just Coke. Damn, Karen. He just got a drink. Karen's always saying. trying you know, to ruin okay, the fun, dude. There's a fun oh, police. Sorry, Let's see. Uh, she made you like that. I'm like, oh, no problem. Uh, we're probably not going to see her anyways. As I say that, this woman approaches us with a sitter. <laughs> what are you doing with those women? You can't be running with those. The woman looks at me. And then <laughs> she just 90 degrees turns to socks for one and says, give me your hand. 
as he cuts off Sucks this man for no reason. Sucks did nothing. He was just standing there having a good time. I was trying to spread the word about the party, and then this woman, she just cut my wristband, saying that I can't be here anymore. So like I put that, my man. hand out. I was like, if you cut him, you, you better cut mine as well. And then she cut my wristband. She was basically saying like, get out. And then Cash was like, oh my god, I'm sorry, guys. You guys, this is my fault. You guys lost your wristbands. And we're like, don't worry about it, Cash. We have more plans tonight anyways. I was in the bathroom the whole time that I'm happened. Done, you know, done. as we left, the vibes came with us. The aura was through the roof. Before we leave, aura we spread one the word million. about party. But we still had two more days. We finished this Roblox party, but the night was not over. There was another party we could go to. The TikTok Sheesh. party! Oh, no. Official TikTok party. This is hosted by TikTok itself. Why this party was TikTok so crazy. Himself. The chances of us getting in were like little to none. You had to be on a list which we were not on the list. I got, luckily, I got a plus one from a friend. Nadway and Blaza were not on this list. And we're like, oh, how bad could it be? What we didn't know is that this party wasn't like the other parties. It was hosted by TikTok itself, which means security guards everywhere. We got to the very last line. Like we got there kind of late and we were like the very last. Right when we make it past like the threshold of like starting the actual line, they stopped receiving people. I have a picture. We were the last people allowed into the TikTok party. The line was crazy. We're talking about like hundreds of people in front of us. This was like a serious party. Like the, the, the whole place they rented out for this was insane. To even get in, you had to go through security. Obviously went off on Nadway. At the end, they had to see if you were on the list. We were like, what do we do? We and Blaza were stressing. What do we do? I was what on the list, do? but Nadway and Blaza were not on this list. But we knew we had to get in because we had to spread the word of our party. We had to have everyone know that there was a much better party happening. We were waiting, we were much waiting better. through this line. And eventually we made it to the desk where they had everyone's names just lined up to see if you were on the list or not. And I was like, oh, my name is Sox. And they're like, oh my God, yes, hi, here, here, how of it is. But then Blaza and Nadway. Everyone was at the Bay, like putting in their names. He said, just give your name, show you your ID or something, and you get a wristband and you go in. We didn't have a name on the list. So I came up and uh, and they said, name. I started looking around and I thought of a, a random YouTuber called CG5. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm going to use his full legal name. So I say his full legal name and she did it on the computer. Oh yeah, you're right here. No ID though. You need the ID, right? And then she said, uh, can I see your ID, please? <laughs> I was like, oh, I feel I think I actually uh, uh, forgot it. It's still my hotel. <laughs> Do you have like a picture of it or something? I'm like, ooh, ah, no, I don't have anything to identify myself. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry, but I cannot let you in. She was very respectful about it. But I was like, oh, okay, I tried, whatever. So I was about to leave. And all of a sudden behind me, I hear, hey, she can be my plus one. And I turn around. There's this random woman. And she said, I could be her plus one. So I walked back to the desk. Laza's aura has just skyrocketed, by Bro! the way. He raised up a girl without even looking at her. Well, he's the, the Rizzler. Said, yeah, that's fine. I just need your name again and uh, I need your ID. So I said my full legal name and I instantly give her <laughs> give her my ID. And she said, um, I thought you didn't have your ID. And then the guy next to her who was giving out wristbands, I just jabbed my hands in front of him and he put a wristband on and I got in instantly and without looking Bro, back. Dude, I would have been so embarrassed if I heard that. I thought you didn't have an ID. <laughs> I, no, I was out of there. I got the wrist fed and I left. And now it's my so turn. So you're I'm not like, CG5? You're like, not no, Charlie? Gonna make me the plus one. What am I going to do? There's no way a miracle happens twice in a row like that. So you know what I did? While everyone was getting their wristbands, I like, stayed behind them. I was scooching my way through while they were talking to like the woman to check in. I was like just watching them, you know, all behind them. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was acting like I was part of the group. Like I was with them. And then I go up to the guy that was heading out the wristband. He's like, oh, did you check it? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm this guy's plus one. I spoke to the most random guy ever. They're like, oh, okay, give me your ID. And I'm like, and I'm my ID. I said, oh, I'm under 21. And apparently they only check your ID to check if you're legal allowed to drink. So he gave me the wristband. Uh, and I'm like, yes, I made it through without even checking it. I don't know how. Bro, you are the world's luckiest Bruh. gambler ever. We're going to go to the Pentagon next. <laughs> confidence, bro. If you say like you have confidence, you can get into anywhere. All about that wrist, chat. It's all about that wrist. The TikTok party. The rooftop boys and The Apprentice. The TikTok party, kind of crazy. They had giant photo ooh, booths ooh, that you could take ooh, pictures. Ooh, DJ ooh, playing ooh, copyright ooh, music ooh. for some reason. Like, Chad, you gotta have that Riz. It was huge. You also, make anything happen with Riz. There. Oh my God, Flamingo. We were having a good time at the party. We were meeting a lot of people, but this was all just to build up to the best 
party hour ever oh. after a couple of hours we had a good time at the party it wasn't as crazy as the first one but it was it was cool it was funny as we were leaving they started actually playing the tiktok riz music which is really funny but now it was time we went back home planned strategy back in the hotel but it was the final day i, I hit up my contact i hit himself i was like yo food and apple juice we got buy a lot of snacks buy all the apple juice just get everything everything we can't mess this up we even arrived early we had to prepare and we had to make sure the scene was right. Before we went there, I was in charge of them fighting like cash and all them, right? And I told Sox, Sox, if this Airbnb sucks, you're risking my whole aura and reputation with them. My all your aura is on the line, brother. On the line. Having a crappy house party. I told him this Airbnb better be awesome and this party better be lit. It better be risk-tastic. Was it not in that way? Hey, okay, I pull up to the house. I was pretty amazed. The house was pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty awesome. It had everything that you would need. And the thing or is, it was intact. big, but not like too big where it would always feel like empty. Each room was small, so it was like each room would always feel packed. And that way, it was lit up nicely from indoors and outdoors. You would feel like you're parting even if you were talking with like two people because how each room was lit up, if that makes sense. It was time to do it. We were going to host the party. It was happening. We had time the people. Chat. We were getting it's the time. vibe of the house and everything. They started getting the music Ooh, ready time, and stuff baby. like that. And we sat there in front of the door. No one waiting. shows up waiting for the guests to arrive. There was this one person me and Blaza met at the TikTok party. Prime Dylan. We call him Prime Dylan. We're like overhyping because we think it's fun. He's like a looks maxer, right? And I'm like, what if we got Dylan into this party? <laughs> that would be insane. And it would literally be, I'd be jumping up and down. I literally, I told him, hey, do you want to join this YouTuber party that we're hosting? Don't bring too many people. Bring like, you know, three people. And he told me, yeah, bet, I'll pull up. Me and Blaza looked at each other and started jumping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like two little high school girls. I was just Jeez. waiting at the door the whole day. I'm peeking through the door and I see headlights. I run to Blaza. I'm like, Blaza, he has a kiss here. And I, I, I instantly dropped the conversation I was having it with someone and I just like running through the door. We gotta go figure out what's happening. Where's he at? Is he here? We open the door. We, we run outside. We see who it is. It's J-Man Curly. Yeah, J-Man Curly. <laughs> what are you doing here? After we were waiting, looking, waiting for people, they started to arrive one oh, by snap. one. Each person brought a plus one or a plus two. We had one group arrive, then another group arrive, then another group group arrived then another group arrived then another group arrived the party was starting okay but the thing is we had one obstacle though okay listen me and blaza were in charge of the music and that was kind of a mistake the music is the most important thing of a party and you sold it we were like stressed so like oh what do we do blaza pulls out of skate three star track i'm like blaza do not put it on. i don't know what to do this is what i'm ready to play like. cash and nico and them pull up right with the whole group and i did not know this but the dj at the first party that was pumping and everything pulled up and it was shady from the cash and nico group he was the one in charge of the dj so he comes up to us, he's like, bro, oh, I will be in charge of the DJ of this party. Me and Blaza, yeah! the sign of relief of a lifetime. So much weight off my shoulders. Thank you, Shady. And Shady started just cooking. Dude, she was like, dee, dee, dee. like, like he was for dude, 20 minutes straight. His music was insane. We had music, we had people. It was fantastic, okay? We had people dancing, we had people drinking apple I, juice. I, I, I up All the apple, apple juice, bro. We like, we did it. These guys are like jumping for joy. And everyone was really nice. Everyone was like killed on like destroying stuff. But this is where the party gets insane. Everyone's uh -oh. having a great time. It's getting really late. It's time to get into the pool. All the guys, you know, get in their swimming gear, underwear, whatever. Girls do the same. We're all jumping in the pool. It's getting crazy. In the pool, there was a basketball hoop thing. There was this guy, a Minecraft guy. He was running from across the nation all the way to the pool, jumped the entire length of the pool and slam dunked that thing multiple times, just exploding the water. Multiple wow. times. He's like jumping over me in slow motion. I was like, oh, who's that? Is that a bird on a plane? Sick wow. moves, chat. Slam dunk. Sick bro. moves. Like, dang. So much was happening. It was fantastic. Dylan wow. never came, which was a shame. No, <laughs> Dylan. But you know what? He missed out. We had all our friends and all our new friends together. Me, Blas, and Adway, we got together and we looked at each other and we were like, we did it. Best we just hosted the best party ever. We're going to tell the grandchildren about this party. If you guys enjoyed and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to all my friends. And subscribe for more. And uh, check out another video right over here. Boom. Let me bring you in, sus gang. Hey, dude, come on. That's how you celebrate Labor Day weekend. We got ourselves a, a bomb A video from the one and only Sock Studios. I love listening to them try and sneak into places. And it always amazes me that it works, dude. It works. They get in. The fact that they had to sneak into that hotel all week. And they got it. 
I think that's probably the most impressive part to me. Uh, this was awesome. Again, happy Labor Day, everybody. Make sure you show Sock Studios some love by subscribing to their channel. And uh, sometimes you just gotta sneak in some parties. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And remember, it's Eat, Sleep, and McBeats, and there's usually be kind of another, and that's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Woo-hoo! Gonna love what is up, gang? Be